Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create an architect simulator. All right, so first thing I want to do is I want to use one of the blocks that I'm actually going to stamp on here to create some neat looking architecture. So I'm gonna start with the dome. So I click on that and I want to make it so that um, I can stamp these on the screen to build my architecture and then erase it when I click the erase button. So in order to use those button or those functionality, I need to add some extensions. So I click on that button and I say pen, boop, and that gives me some new blocks. Now I'm gonna use these in a minute. So one of the blocks that I'm going to use is erase all, and then I'm eventually going to use a stamp. I won't show you that one quite yet. Okay, so first thing I want is I want to reset this sprite back to this location when I'm done to it. So I clicked on my blocks and I'm going to make a block that I'm going to call reset and say okay. And this function, all it's going to do is make it go to where it is right now. So I just drag that in and it's good. Now these numbers are great for the dome, but it's not great for the other sprites. If you notice the X is changing here because it's on a different position left or right. So just know when you're copying this code that it's going to be different numbers. So don't just copy and paste. Okay, so I have my reset function. This makes it so that if my sprite is way up here and I run this function, it makes it go back to its starting location. That's great, exactly what I want. So I wanted to run this um, whenever I press the green flag. So I say erase all when the green flag is, is clicked and reset. So wherever this is at, boop, it resets it back to the correct location. Okay, so that's great. Now there are actually two different ways that uh, we can uh, simulate uh, doing the architect stuff on here for this app. So one is to use the event when the sprite is clicked. And what we're going to do is we're going to make this sprite follow the, the mouse whenever it's clicking on it, and then it's going to stamp and reset whenever we let go. So to do that, we're going to use a repeat until. So it's gonna repeat doing um, something until this condition right here is met. So what we want to say is repeat until we're not clicking the mouse down. Now to do that, we use these two blocks. So repeat something until not mouse down. So what we want it to repeat is go to the mouse pointer. And then when it finishes this, it's actually going to stamp. So when we let go of our mouse, it's going to stamp it. And then we're going to reset this sprite. Okay, so check this out. So I click and now it's following my mouse. And when I let go, it stamped a copy of it and then it reset back to the beginning. So now I can use this to start creating my architect stuff. Now, let me show you one more way that you can actually do this. Um, this other way, goodbye code. We're going to actually make it so that um, we're going to detect forever if the mouse is touching this sprite. So we're going to say, let me grab this. If it's touching the mouse pointer and if the mouse is down. Okay, so it's gonna forever run this and check, is it touching the mouse pointer and is the mouse down? So am I clicking in it? If so, we wanted to do kind of like before, go to the mouse pointer and we're going to also use a repeat until just like before and use the same code as before. Probably should have kept that on my screen. Living you learn, I'm sorry. Okay, so if you remember, it's not mouse down. And then we're going to stamp, whoops, that's not what stamp is, and reset. Reset. Okay, so make it big. Once it's touching and I click right now, it's now I'm gonna start following and then when I let go, it's going to stamp it back to its starting location. So both code works. However, this code actually makes it so that you can uh, move your mouse over this, click, and then while still holding onto it, move your mouse over to other sprites and pick those up too. So it allows you to grab multiple things at once, whereas the first set of code only allows you to grab one block at a time. So use whatever code is interesting to you and whatever functionality you want and add it to each one of these blocks. Just remember that the reset block is gonna have different numbers for your uh, X coordinate and possibly your Y coordinate, depending on where you want these at. 
Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org where you can also learn about our high quality professional development.